Welcome to Passport to USA, your go-to channel for all things related to the U.S. citizenship journey. Becoming a U.S. citizen is a significant milestone and a momentous achievement, and we understand that the U.S. citizenship interview can be a crucial part of that process. In this video, proudly presented by Passport to USA, will guide you through a simulated U.S. citizenship interview, offering practice questions, valuable insights, and expert tips to help you feel confident and well-prepared. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Passport to USA and hit the like button and share it with others who might benefit from this valuable resource. Your support allows us to continue creating content to assist aspiring U.S. citizens like yourself. Now let's begin the mock U.S. citizenship interview and ensure you're on the right path to success. Thank you for choosing Passport to USA and let's get started. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm here for my citizenship interview. At what time is your appointment? At 1.30 p.m. Can you please show me your appointment letter? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. You are welcome. Do you have a state-issued identification? If you have a driving license, that will be fine. No. I don't have driving license yet. I have my social security card. Is this okay? Oh, I'm sorry. We don't accept social security card as a form of identification. Though it doesn't contain a photo or your physical details. Oh, I see. If you have your permanent resident card with you, that will do. Okay. Here it is. Oh, great. Let me take your photo. Please look straight at the camera in front of you. Now I need to take your fingerprints. Please put your left index finger on the scanner. Now your right index finger, please. Okay. You may now take back your appointment letter. And the paper attached here with is your waiting number. The immigration officer will call that number when it's your time for your interview. All right. Here's also your state-issued ID. You may now take a seat at the waiting area. Thank you. You are welcome and good luck on your interview. Anna Paula. Yes, it's me. Hi, I'm Immigration Officer Anthony. I've been assigned to conduct your interview today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Follow me, please. Sure. Put everything on the chair. Please remain standing. I'm going to swear you in. Please raise your right hand.
Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Sit down, please. Thank you. Have you been waiting a long time to talk to me? No, it's just 20 minutes only. How was the traffic getting here? Traffic was heavy this morning. Did you do anything fun over the weekend? Not really. I was preparing for this interview. Don't worry, you'll be fine. How do you feel now? I'm a little bit nervous but also excited about this interview. I hope the interview won't take too long. Show me your green card, your state identification card. Or your notice that you received from USCIS and your passport or any re-entry permit. Thank you. Sorry, officer, my passport expired last month. Is that an issue? That's not a problem as long as you're not traveling anywhere soon. How are you today? I'm good, thanks, and how about you? I'm great. Thank you. Now what brings you here today, Ms. Paula? I'm here for my U.S. citizenship naturalization interview. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I want a better life for my son, and I really want to vote in the next election. How long have you been waiting for your interview since you filed your application? I have been waiting for around three months. Have you studied for the civics test? Yes, I've studied hard since I applied. Great! What version of the civics test did you study? I studied the 100 Official Civics Questions 2008 version. That's the correct one. Sounds like you're ready for the test. Yes, I am ready for the test. I'm going to conduct the civics test right now. Do you have any questions before we start? No, I don't have any questions. Please say the answers loudly for me. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. When was the Constitution written? 1787. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Good. You passed the civics test since you got six answers correct. I'll move on to the English reading and writing test now. We'll administer the test on this tablet.
Can you see a sentence that appeared on the tablet? Yes, I can see it. Can you read that sentence out loud for me? What one right does a United States citizen have? I will read a sentence. Please use a stylist to write the sentence on the tablet. Let me know if you need me to repeat. A United States citizen has the right to vote. Great job! Now I will review your application form to make sure everything is correct. You swore an oath at the beginning. Do you know what it means? Yes, it means I would tell the truth. Awesome. What is your current legal name? Anna Paula. Is Paula your last name? Yes. What is your first name? Anna. How do you spell your last name? P A U L A. Have you used any other names since you got your green card? No, I haven't used any other name. Some people change their name when they become U.S. citizen. So, would you like to change your current name? No, officer. Is that the same name as on your green card? Yes, it is. You've been a permanent resident for five years. Is that right? Yes. You got your green card through your brother. Is this correct? Yes, it's correct. When did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident on March seventh, two thousand eighteen. All right. Have you ever received any public benefits since you came to the U.S.? No, I haven't received any public benefits since I came to the U.S. How tall are you, and how much do you weigh? I am five four and one hundred and seventeen pounds. Are you married? Yes, I am. How many times have you been married? One time. What is your spouse's full name? His name is Richard Charles. What is his date of birth? May twenty third, nineteen eighty three. Is he a U.S. citizen? Yes, he just became a U.S. citizen last year. What is your spouse's current job? He works at Alphabet as a front desk officer. All right. How many children do you have? I have one child. What is your child's name? His name is Ronald Charles. How old is your child? He is eight years old. Is your child biological to you? 
Yes, he is. Can you give me his birth certificate? Sure. Here it is. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No, we don't. Did any of your trips last six months or longer? No, officer. Please tell me your phone number. I'm sorry, I changed my phone number two months ago. The new number is 21157392874. Can you please update this for me? Yes, I'm updating it right now. Do you have a different phone number at work? No. Do you have an email address? Yes. What is your email address? Adotpala at gmail.com. Tell me your social security number, please. 757 87 9876. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. So you are a citizen of Mexico? Yes, I am a citizen of Mexico. Do you have dual citizenship in other countries? No, I'm only a citizen of Mexico. What is your current address? 227 North Avenue 50 Los Angeles, California 90042 Your spouse lives with you at your current address? Yes, we are living together. Is your current mailing address the same as your home address? Yes, it is. How long have you lived at the current address? When did you move to this address? Three years. I moved to this address on October 30, 2020. Where did you live before? 11459 Newberry Drive, Frisco, Texas 75035. Did you also live with your spouse at this address? Yes, officer. I lived at this address also with my spouse. Do your parents live here? No. My parents live in Mexico. Your parents are not U.S. citizens, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. When was your last trip outside the United States? May 17, 2023. What was the purpose of that trip? I went on vacation with my family. How many total days did you spend outside the United States in the last five years? Totally I spent 150 days outside the United States in the last five years. Do you have any individual disabilities that require accommodation? No. What is your birthday? 
August 15, 1990. I am sorry, I have an error on my N-400 application. Can you please correct my date of birth for me? Sure, hold on please. Thank you. Were your parents married before you 18th birthday? Yes, officer. All right, do you have a job currently? Yes, I do. Who is your current employer? Ontario Mills. What is your position there? I work there as a sales representative. How long have you been working for them? I have been working for three years. So you worked there since you moved to California? Yes, it's correct. Do you know the employer's address? 1 Mills Circle, Ontario, California 91764, USA. Did you work at Gucci before that? Yes, that's correct. What did you do there? I worked there also as a sales representative. How long have you worked there? I worked there about three years. What date did you leave this job? I left this job on August 9, 2017. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? No, that's it. Have you ever told someone that you are a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever committed assisted in committing or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No, officer. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, I filed taxes return every year since I came to the U.S. Did you ever serve in any place where people were forced to stay? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, officer. Why not? Because I am not a U.S. citizen. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is public benefit? Welfare like food stamps, housing, education, health care. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin? 
membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin? Membership in a particular social group or political opinion? No, officer. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a prison camp? No. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No, officer. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission? Into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever been discharged from training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you are an alien? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Have you ever told someone that you are a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever committed assisted in committing or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Can you explain to me what that is? It means that I promise to love my country in good time and in bad time. Excellent. So, are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I am willing to. Great. I've updated some of the sections. I want you to review all of the information on the tablet to make sure it's accurate. Let me know if there are any mistakes.
Okay. Yes. Everything looks perfect. Okay. Please sign the box on the tablet to affirm that everything you've said during the interview and all of the evidence that you've submitted is complete and true. Okay. One last thing. Please review the Oath of Allegiance section. Make sure you agree to all of the statements. Then you can print your name and sign and date on the tablet. Okay. Just give me one minute. I need to run a quick background check and copy all of your documents. I will be right back. Sure. Not a problem. All right. Thank you for your patience. I've completed all of your copies. So here are all of your originals and I have your test results with you. Congratulations. You have passed the interview. Here's the copy of your test result. Thank you. Now we can administer the oath. Yes, that would be great. Please stand up, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I hereby declare, on oath, that I absolutely and entirely renounce. I hereby declare, on oath, that I absolutely and entirely renounce. And abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince. And abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince. Potentate, state, or sovereignty, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. Potentate, state, or sovereignty, of whom or which I have heretofore been a subject or citizen. That I will support and defend the Constitution. That I will support and defend the Constitution. And laws of the United States of America against all enemies. And laws of the United States of America against all enemies. Foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States. When required by the law. When required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance. That I will perform work of national importance. Under civilian direction when required by the law. Under civilian direction when required by the law. And that I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. 
without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. From now you are officially a U.S. citizen. Thank you, officer. I can give you back your paperwork, but I must keep you green card. Now I will print your naturalization certificate. It will take some time to print. So please wait for a while in the waiting area. Sure. After receiving your naturalization certificate, do not forget to check its accuracy before you sign in. And you must sign it with a black ink pen. Okay. Just a couple of other things you need to do. You need to update your social security status and to register to vote. Surely I will do. You can also apply for your passport if you have any plan to travel outside of the U.S. Thank you. Do you have any questions at this point? No. I don't have any questions. Thanks again. Let me walk you out. 